Now in the last video we were talking about what the advantages are of this little square push pin. So uh, here we're going to show ex exactly what you can do with this. Now in this photo we can see that if the pin in the back was fixed, that is if it wasn't movable, then I couldn't place the push stick flat on the wood and take advantage of the traction tread. But uh, since there is a retractable push pin, I can press down and sit perfectly flat on the wood and use the full grip of the traction tread to push forward the board. So you see when I get to the end of the board, the pin just automatically pops down since it is spring loaded and I can safely grab the end of the board and finish the push. So once again, we'll just show you a close up here. The pin is up inside the body of the push stick and then it just pops down and you come to the end. And here is just another angle of it down pushing the wood. Now in this case of pushing thin wood, you can see that the pin will automatically adjust its length to accommodate the thinness of the wood. This allows the full use of the traction tread. So you can even have a 1 16th thin strip. And the push stick would still sit flat and the pin would still protrude just enough to grab the end of the strip. Next is a situation that is only safe using this type of push stick. And that is pushing short pieces of wood which is normally a tricky and dangerous cut. But as you'll see in this live video coming up, the ability to cut short pieces of wood safely is easy to do with this push stick because it sits flat on the wood. The friction pad keeps the wood from shifting so it rides smoothly against the fence. And the push pin in the back prevents the wood from getting away from you. So you can see we're just cutting five pieces of wood here and each one is getting shorter as we go along. And the situation is the same. You can, uh, pretty much you hold your, your push stick flat on the piece. You just push forward. You slide along the fence. And as long as you're sitting flat and you're not rocking, it just goes through like a piece of cake. There's just no, no anxiety, no issues, no hang-ups. I've got to turn this off to move that piece next to the blade. Then we'll turn it back on. And even a small piece like this, it just slides right through. Just easy as pie and does not get messed up. And there's no anxiety with it at all. Now for the last part of this lesson on ripping wood, I need to show you that there are actually two traction treads. The other one you see here for the first time is called the V-Groove traction tread. And all you have to do is remove the flat traction tread from the body of the push stick and replace it with the V-Groove traction tread and you practically have a second tool. Okay, so what is the V-Groove for? This V-tread is used for pushing wood on shapers and router tables. On each of these machines, you need to press the wood at three angles at the same time. That is, you have to press the wood against the fence, you have to press the wood against the tabletop, and third, you have to push the wood forward. That's three forces happening at the same time. So with a V-groove tread, this allows the push stick to tilt at an angle of 45 degrees more or less, so you're pushing against the tabletop and the fence as you move forward. This not only protects your hands in these situations, but the quality of cut is much cleaner there is essentially no chatter or two marks to clean up. And again, the anxiety level is so reduced it's almost non-existent. And finally, folks, that incredible disappearing push pin at the back of the push stick, well, by now you know it'll pop out just in time to grab the end of the board and finish the push in total safety since your hands aren't even close to the blades. So I hope you enjoyed these two short videos on table saw safety, and thanks for watching.